Hi, in this video, I want to show you what to do in this scenario when you have a student who needs to kind of step outside of class for a minute, or you have discovered that somebody who has gotten into your Zoom room is, is should not be there. So we're going to look at two of those scenarios. So scenario one, we have a student who is just kind of needs a couple minutes to gather their thoughts for him, perhaps. We have this option where when we click those three buttons, we can actually put them in the waiting room. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my own self in the waiting room. So you'll see I now have a waiting room that does have one person in it. So there's a couple different ways that you might be able to kind of have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the student in the waiting room. Um, you could try to host a real quick Google chat. Um, we don't recommend Google chat for any formal student meetings, but it might be a good way to kind of do a one-on-one -on -one with them. Um, you might also just utilize the chat feature. Again, remember that any chat that you send to the waiting room goes to everyone in the waiting room. However, I can see that I only have the one student in the waiting room. Either way, that putting in the waiting room is one solution that we have, but you wanna make sure that you've thought through and you have a plan on how you're gonna handle that depending on your class and your students before you need to handle that, right? Okay, so let's, Let's admit our, our student back again. So takes a couple seconds, but now student is back. All right, now let's pretend that we had a, that somehow somebody slipped through and we discovered that somebody in our Zoom is not a member of our community and we need them out immediately. You have a couple ways you could do this. The first way is to click on them and simply remove them. That takes them directly out of the Zoom. Okay, not holding them in the waiting room, that just kicks them out. You can also get to remove from the security panel. You'll click remove participant and it takes you to anybody who's not the host or the co-host and you can click remove. If I had a long list of students who were my participants in there, then I would, I'd still have to select the correct person, okay? Um, or my other option, is to just go into my participants panel, perhaps it can easily find this person, click on more and again, remove. So there's three different ways that you can remove um, an individual who is in your Zoom and shouldn't be. And then we started this quick video with that you can pop a student into the waiting room um, and then you, know, you should have a plan as to how you would handle that situation um, if you were to need to pop a student into the waiting room, okay? Hope this information is helpful.